going to be on court okay, three. Okay, so now on court three, what we're going to do is very, very important for the game. You're going to want to go out with some buddies that you're meeting in class. You're going to want to ride with them. One of the toughest things to do is to be able to bounce the ball in and just stroke the other person. Usually it's a bad feed in and people are running like crazy and it's hard to get a consistent rally. So you want to get really good with your self feeds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the racket out here to the side. I'm going to check it off, make sure the strings are not open, make sure it's in perfect position, drop the ball, swing through, fall through, and then my partner on the other side is going to catch the ball and then they're going to hit it back. We'll probably have a competition with it as well. But uh, here we go. So, and um, Maddie, why don't you go to the other side? You get yourself the ball. Okay. So what, watch what we're going to do here. Kane, are you ready? I'm getting set. I'm going to hit to him. He's going to catch it and feed it back. You two can start doing the same thing. We can all be doing this at the same time. And drop, and hit, and catch. You can see it's not easy in the beginning. Yeah, go ahead there, Kane. Good. And one more. Excellent. Good. Get mom. Okay. So you can see the Kane had it, had it going. We had it going pretty good. They're new to the game, just like you. They're having trouble with the racket face was open. This is gonna be your biggest enemy right here, this. And every class I teach, I always see this. So the sooner you get over not doing that and getting it to go like that, like you've got a quarter on your racket, and if you move it, it's gonna fall on the ground. But if you can swing all the way through without the quarter falling off, you're doing pretty darn good. All right, we're gonna be on our next court. We're starting to get some rallies right, going. So on what we're gonna have set up for you on, on court four, we're gonna have a little tape that's gonna run from the net all the way back to the fence. That's gonna be our, our, our pretend net. And we're gonna try and hit over that in the short court. It's very important to be able to hit the ball in whatever area of court, whether it's a big court or a smaller court, because the court is always shrinking and expanding. So we're gonna work in a short court rally right now. We're gonna get a low compression ball. These balls don't bounce as high. And then we're gonna to look to rally back and forth. So everybody can kind of start it out. We're just trying to get it going back and forth together in the green court with four hands and back hands, taking everything we've learned tonight, getting a good rally going. And we are off to a great start. Good. So that's it, pretty simple, right? You're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. All right, so now we're on the competition court. So for all you you know, hungry competition people. We're, this is for you, okay? And what we're gonna do is we'll probably do this with doubles. Right now we're just gonna demonstrate with singles. Doubles, you'll have the whole entire green court. We'll probably give you two bounces the first night and see how it goes. So you can have two bounces. I feed the ball in, you win the point, you come over to the champ side, which is Kane over there. Then Kane would go to the other side of the court. Okay, so here's how we go. Ready? I guess. Here we go. Do your best. Play it out. Good stroke. That is out. So if you miss, then basically you go back in line and the next challenger comes on in. You get set. Good shot. You win. You're the champ. You run. No, you won. Run on over. Run on over. <laughs> and that is what you call king and queen of the court or champ of the court. It's a lot of fun. It never gets old. And that is the end of night one. We'll see you next week.